Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video. Guys, my voice has been off. I don't know if you guys could hear from the last. I did a, I made a short, but my voice was terrible. Like I literally forced myself to talk in that video. So my voice has been going through a lot allergies like i don't have i don't ever i've never gotten i've never had allergy problems but since last year i don't know because where i'm located like the cedars from a particular part of where i live it's just the um what do you call them again the, the, the pollen from the cedars are a lot i realize this season so where i'm located it is like highly it, it, you, you, you'll get even if you don't have allergies you'll get allergies so I have been going through it a lot and because I have to scream and talk a lot so I've had to be I've had to you know I've been taking and consuming a lot of like honey and lime for my throat because I have to use my voice to do my job so my throat has to be good and also for my body because I don't want to have to take off any time from work just because I can't function you know what I'm saying but now that we're gonna get like a break from school and whatever so maybe I'll get enough time for my body to recover again so hopefully everything will be fine by then but because of everything I've also gotten some pimples I got like two pimples one here first and then another one here and then I also got a little one somewhere underneath here and I got one somewhere here but the one that was here it, when I touched it it didn't feel like anything was in there so after like a day it just went away but the one right here this one the one that I'm not sure if you can see the, this one this one I don't know if you can see yeah this one it came and it went and I didn't touch it or anything but it left a little you know you can still see it but this one I didn't touch it as I said before I've just been using my skincare and you can still see whatever is there I don't even know what is there but I didn't touch it or anything I just left it and it has like two spots it's still not fully down yet but I've been using my skincare products and they've been doing such a wonderful job and i'm so grateful so i'm going to share with you everything that i've been using to deal with um acne so this is going to be skincare for acne prone skin when you get pimples because i know that people we suffer if you have acne prone skin like mine occasionally we suffer with acne and i think the reason why i got actually got this acne was because because of the the little situation my throat and allergies or whatever i had to wear a mask to school and i think because whenever i do my skincare and i put on a mask over and then i have like skincare ingredients underneath and then the mask is here and it just causes irritation on the skin and causes pimple so that's the main reason why i got these but i'm gonna share with you the routine that i usually use or let me just say the routine that I have been using so I have been using my CeraVe SA cleanser it is basically finished guys I just added water to it so I use this to exfoliate my skin to wash my face so for today's routine I'm just going to finish what is left in the bottle which is nothing because I basically use water or rinse it out yeah and I've been using this wash my face it's basically finished now well i have another skincare and i'm using uh, another bottle so basically what i like to use too i like to use the warm water and then i just basically add the um the cleanser and rub it up in on my hand warm it up get it nice and sunny just rub it in and then i start to 
cleanse my skin with it. And one of the most important thing to do, guys, whenever you're washing your face, you can't do two, two minutes, not two minutes, you can't do two seconds of just using the soap to just touch your, touch your skin. Like, I don't know how people do that, but I have to spend time. Okay, so I just want to show you, let's say you want to use like a sponge or a cleansing um, pad. You can just use the cleansing pad, wet it, and then apply your moisturizer on it. Or cleanser, I should say, not moisturizer. So you apply your cleanser to the um, cleansing pad. This one is Purita. So I would just take the cleansing pad and just apply it to my skin like so and cleanse my skin. Okay, and this is just very very gentle. That's if you are if you're the kind of person that likes to use like a cleansing pad. And this is perfect for people who like wear makeup or you wear SPF during the day and you don't feel like your hands are doing a good job. Just that gentle cleansing. This is this is like really really gentle on the skin. Yeah, it's like an exfoliating pad but not as aggressive as a rag this is like a microfiber material so it's acting like your hands but super super gentle on the skin okay so this is my skin currently and what i'm going to do after i wash it rinse it i spend like a minute and a half to rinse it properly and then i'm going to go in with my towel now to dry my face mm -hmm. and guys telling you my eyes are super itchy so very itchy so itchy after I do everything I have some honey and lime here as you can tell so we're drinking honey and lime this also helps to clear up my throat and then the next thing I'm going to do as I said before this routine is very acne for acne people with acne brown skin and also for having pigmentation so i like to go in with my ordinary um glycolic acid so i just apply that to my skin i'm gonna apply that to my skin and it's just going to help with um hyperpigmentation this actually helps to exfoliate the skin, get rid of get rid of all of the dead skins. Skin. Because the day before I would have used my salicylic acid. So today we are dealing with um today we are dealing with um texture and just the skin in general. Yeah. So the day before I use, oh my goodness. Yeah, the day before I use my glycolic acid, I would use salicylic acid. And then right after, I use a glycolic acid now because it's going to be with just dead skin, texture irregularities and so forth. yes and this just helps also to while i'm toning and it's basically gently exfoliating my skin it's just causing me you know to my skin to experience this nice smooth effect and at the same time physically exfoliating the skin it takes that around my neck too so, and I get all of that cleansed, removed, take some around my ears, I'm telling you. Alright, so see, nice and fresh. So after that, after I use that, I'm going to go in with a toner now, it's a thicker toner because the time is very, very cold and um, my skin is very dry and I don't want my skin to be wrinkly and old. So this is a thicker, 
yeah this is a thicker more viscous um toner this one is from um rovectin it's a rovectin um skin rovectin essential skin conditioning treatment lotion but i think it's renamed now it's the rovectin hyaluronic essence something like that so i basically apply it all over the face guys my eyes are super irritated because it's itchy very very itchy every time i, I look every time i um if i do anything my face is just super super my eyes are itchy especially this one because it's like allergy So I just basically take that and rub it in. So when I'm done with that now, the skin is nice and smooth and ready. Okay, for the next step. So then what I do is to go in with my caffeine solution now. And I'm just going to apply that under the eyes. And I'm going to gently apply this because my eyes are super, super irritated right now. Yeah, so I can't really add too many ingredients to the eye area because it's like really itchy and anything can irritate under my eyes right now but it's just going to help with the puffiness mainly because I have been just itching under my eyes one of the things that actually works with helps with um just the itchiness is like um vaseline vaseline helps to soothe under the eyes so just a little bit like during the night so it's not dry <clears throat> and then i have like eye drops that i use in my eyes also so this is basically the first portion cleansing the toning and uh, as I said before, I would apply my salicylic acid the day before, but I can't apply salicylic acid and the glycolic acid in the same routine. So like the night before, I can apply that. But today, we're not going to apply that. As I said before, I just used my cleanser and I tried, I, I had a little bit of the CeraVe, but it's basically finished. So I had to use a different cleanser, which is a little bit more gentle. Then I went in my glycolic acid. Then I went in with my under eye serum. And I also went in with some um, essence to give it a boost of hydration. So I'm going to go in with my Alpha Arbutin from The Ordinary. This is going to help with, as I said before, we are dealing with texture now and brightening the skin. So this is a brightening ingredient. So I'm just going to take this all over my face like that. And it also has hyaluronic acid too. So it's going to give my skin a nice amount of hydration. I'm going to take it on the cheek area i'm going to go in with my bakuchiol so bakuchiol is basically what i use for like any little fine lines and wrinkling and i like to apply this um so this is how it looks it's very yellow this is from wish trends and i apply this i gently apply this like my forehead area yeah just to help with um wrinkling and pimples so I apply a little bit of that there and I apply some under the chin half lines so it's a vitamin A mixed with baku bakuchial around my mouth so it's going to brighten but help with um brighten and help with um hydrating the skin and the next thing i'm going to apply is this is a vitamin brightening serum i'm going to take a little bit i don't use this a lot only use it when i have like these crazy hyperpigmentation for example this unnecessary mark that i have because of the pimple so, and i just basically take it like this and i pat it on the area that the pimples are excessive not the pimples the dark spots there 
and right here and I think I got one on the nose so I have to put a little bit here and I put some under the chin right here where I got a little pimple and then take some also above my lips and that will help with um, really focusing and it, like concentrated brightening okay so then the last thing that we're going to do is to apply some moisturizer and this one is the Mary and me um, eat eat even on a blackberry intense cream and this is just going to help with anti anti-aging and also brightening texture and all of those jazz all of that jazz I should say and I'm just going to apply it like this mm -hmm. and then I'm also going to apply it around my neck and under the chin area and this is guys everything that I do when it comes to acne and brightening my skin main ingredients that I use are alpha arbitin um, salicylic acid and glycolic acid and then everything else is like hydrating okay yes so that's basically my acne hyperpigmentation brightening routine and to deal with pimples basically because girl we're not here we don't want to get i hate pimples jeez i hate pimples oh I never see something that i hate so much but guys as you can tell this is the skin this is the skin it's nice and hydrated nice and comfy what I'm going to do now I'm going to make some tea again for my throat and then drink some water go to bed and have some water beside me because I just need to hydrate all the time and then that's going to be it for your girl like you say you wanna make it happen you know what I want don't try to fight the heavens good girls aren't the one